Hello, DX Engineering fans. We've got a good one going on here today. Let's uh, let's get your camera set. We've got the uh, crane going on here today at K3LR. Just bringing down the the uh, old 15-meter uh, Yagi. At uh, it was up at 120 feet, and uh, Crane is moving it down as we speak. It's a beautiful morning here in Western Pennsylvania, and I hope all of you are well. But, uh, coming down nice and easy. Crew's got it uh, coming down. This is the old. Each other. Okay. Here's the uh, the big crane, and we've got uh, everything's coming down smooth. Uh, we don't have much wind today, and uh, the guys have a lot of room to work with. Of course, uh, this is the 10 meter tower. We'll do that later on this summer. Um, put new antennas up there, but uh, the old 120 footer is now down on the ground. See a little bit of uh, weathering that happened on the uh, center insulator there. That was a different type of uh, Lexan that I used almost 30 years ago. So um, element still in in nice shape uh, for being this old, but. Uh, We'll uh, look forward to the new antennas uh, going up shortly. Uh, Philly Strand still looks in good shape. Again, uh, it's uh, showing its age, but uh, everything is doing well. Uh, we did replace the feed lines to go, and uh, got the. Uh, Guys, getting everything undone. It's Jerry, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. It's good to have you, man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you see the uh, the coax. Um, this is building coax, and I I just don't understand how it got discolored like that. But um, it's not that old. Uh, you can see the feed point. Of course, we do things much differently now uh, with the feed point connector. But uh, uh, this, this antenna worked very well. The right on red, we always, have, uh, we always mark where the center of the coax is. And uh, so you got that going as well. Uh, but this antenna will be uh, broken down and then it's going to uh, be transported out west uh, where it will have new life again. So um, it was good. And of course, we're looking forward to getting these new guys up. And the uh, tower crew is now moving uh, up to the top Yaggies. They'll grab a 15-meter Yaggie up there and a 6-meter Yaggie. Uh, and uh, those will come down as well, and then we'll uh, we'll have the new antennas, which Jerry is uh, standing in front of, uh, ready to go. So a nice uh, nice day here to do all the uh, the crane work. And uh, Katie, I think uh, we will go inside and. Uh, We'll go inside, and uh, we, we can do some Q&A for a few minutes. If anybody has any questions about what we're doing. And uh, this beautiful uh, crane that is doing all the work. And uh, very, very safe. Everybody is very safe here today. Let's uh, change the cameras.
it's a very safe operation here. Everybody's got their hard hats on. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, a work area. So we, uh, we all are being safe and should be a, a good operation. Um, let's go down here into the shack and, uh, Katie, if you would send the link to the email address, I will log on and we will, uh, we'll take some questions. If anybody has any questions, we can do that and have some fun here, uh, before we shut it down. So get things uh, booted up big day here at uh, K3LR and of course uh, all the parts, uh, DX engineering parts that were used to um, make this happen. So um, very excited about today. Um, I've been planning this for uh, over six months and uh, to get the new 15 meter antennas uh, up here at K3LR. And uh, so the, the end Stacked array will be uh, four seven element Yaggies, um, all brand new uh, Yaggies here at K3LR. And uh, we will uh, hopefully, we'll try those out uh, here next week. We ought to have all of the coax hooked up. It takes a little while to get everything uh, put back together, uh, but we should be able to get uh, everything. Uh, back up and running uh, by next week, get everything uh, taped down and uh, all of the things uh, checked out. We, we will probably uh, use the rig expert uh, analyzer today just to make sure that everything is, uh, is ready to go. And uh, just so uh, we're getting hooked up uh, here online so we can take a look at your questions. And uh, Katie will bring me in. Okay, let's see. Let's see, we got uh, Daniel Brown. I've driven by that place many times. <laughs> and uh, let's see, we got Papa Uniform 5 India Kilo Echo. Morning, Jose. And Brian says, I'm glad you're putting up antennas, Tim. You surely don't have enough. <laughs> well, we're just replacing them with new ones. You know, that, that's the trick here uh, with this. But um, we certainly, uh, <laughs> I like new antennas. And, uh, and some of these, uh, some of the older uh, elements were used over 30 years ago. Tom says, uh, nice, we'll either use the Armstrong or tennis ball launcher method to get my antennas up into the trees. And... Uh, Let's see. Good morning from Texas. Kilo Kilo 5 Hotel Alpha Mike. I like that call. Uh, very nice. Kilo Delta 2 Tango Tango November. And Bob's watching from Columbus. WD8 November. Victor November. And uh, we got uh, from uh, Greece. Sugar Victor 2 Charlie Lima Japan. Nice to see you, Thomas. And uh, let's see. And we got uh, Whiskey X-Ray 3 Bravo. Uh, nice to see you, uh, Jim, as well. And uh, uh, Jim sometimes operates at W3 LPL. So uh, great to have you along as well. So we're uh, just down here in the shack. Uh, uh, we were outside taking a look at uh, some of the work going on with the crane. And we will, um, we will come back here in a little while and do some more. Um, I think uh, we're going to try to do uh, a couple of uh, outside Facebook Live and YouTube Live uh, shots today. And uh, let's see, we've got uh, Jeff, Whiskey Delta 8, Juliet Mike. Uh, can't wait to hear that on 15. You and me both, Jeff. <laughs> I'll tell you, after all the modeling work and all the uh, uh, preparation and construction, it, uh, it's going to be uh, great, I think. Uh, we have WA5 Papa Mike Oscar, and uh, from the United Kingdom, it's Mike 5 Radio India Charlie. And we got uh, Dan, uh, Whiskey, is that Whiskey India 9, Echo Mike Tango. Nice to have you on from Wisconsin, Dan. 
and good morning to Steve. November 9, Yankee Kilo. And uh, from Cape May, New Jersey, Alpha Delta 2, Charlie Mike. And uh, said, uh, what is the weight of those Yaggies? Um, Brian asked that. Uh, these 15-meter Yaggies weigh 150 pounds. Uh, the the uh, boom is very thick, and uh, so they weigh 150 pounds. And uh, so they're, they're built to last. <laughs> so I hope you had a good time. If you missed the, the beginning, it'll be available, uh, you know, for a replay here once we're done. And uh, I hope you have a good day. And uh, look for us in a couple of hours. We'll show you the, uh, the new antennas being put into place uh, with the crane. So 73 from DX Engineering.